Uh, he didn't really mention it so much, but like in 2017, he revealed that he just no longer desired to make any movie that like was religious based. So like he pretty much so like Dogma Two was like it it I don't think it, there was any real like pen to paper maybe uh well but um week but but like apparently a few weeks before um the Harvey Weinstein scandal came out to the public with like the whole Me Too movements like mm -hmm. beginnings really or like the first big takedown of the Me Too movement and rightfully so. Yeah. Was this like, you know, greaseball Harvey Weinstein who just, you know, preyed upon God knows how many women just, you know, just as that slimy standard casting couch thing that's just, it shouldn't even be a thing. And like, I think it was even grosser that everybody knew. Yeah. You know, it was like the worst kept secret in Hollywood where like, even like Seth MacFarlane had like make a, made a joke about it at the Golden Globes. And yeah. like this was before the like the Me Too scandal came out of Weinstein. Where, like, well, I think the messed up thing was is that like, and you could see this. They've done like compilations of like all these Hollywood actors kowtowing to to Harvey Wein uh, Bob Weinstein because yeah. oh they they gave us our break and it's like I think that's why it was never really you know everyone knew what was going on but they didn't want to say anything because they were like then you would never work again. Well, you yeah, know? He, I mean he was in a huge he was like probably the most powerful man in Hollywood yeah at that point or at least one yeah. of for sure he was definitely in the top three I would think yeah and like it's just crazy that he that like they allowed him to get taken down because they very easily could have just shut it down and you know just yeah. manipulated mainstream outlets to not do anything and like you know, and like social media companies, they could have just bribed the crap out of them and just made it go away. And for mm -hmm. whatever reason, like, like, I mean, I'm glad that it happened, but I'm, I'm, I'll always wonder why they like gave him up basically. Or like, was he like protected? Did he piss somebody off? Like, well, that's probably what happened. I'm he sure that's happened. Off. He probably pissed yeah. somebody off who was like way higher up than him in the food yes. chain, if you can believe it. And they were probably like, all right, now this is happening. Throw him to the dogs. Yeah, or maybe, they, I don't know, or maybe they called it, maybe he pissed somebody off, they told him, don't do this, or whatever, and, like, they he, he called their bluff, and they were like, we have everything on you, and we'll end you. And he yeah. probably, and he called their bluff, and they, like, did this. Yeah. So, I, I don't know. It's always, it's, it's something that I'm never, that, like, we'll never know the answers as to, like, how this was able to happen but i'm glad that it did a anyway yeah. um so like a couple of weeks before that happened um harvey weinstein had pitched to kevin smith about doing a dogma sequel uh not a lot came from it but it was just an idea according to smith in an interview with business insider he recalls uh, I said, how are you? He says, you know, we have dogma. I just realized we got to get it out there again. I said, we do. People online are always asking where they can get it. And then he goes, you know, that movie had a big cast. We might even be able to do a sequel. And I was like, yeah, man, right on. I might think about that. And he was like, we'll talk. And a week later, the New York Times story breaks. I felt sick to my stomach. Mm -hmm. um, and Kevin Smith apparently believes that he got the call because it was him looking to see who was a friend still because his life was about to shift completely. Yeah, it's it's plausible. I mean, it's also yeah. out of the blue that like he would just decide to like do it, you know, like two decades later, and just like, hey, remember that movie Dogma you did? So I I, I don't know. I mean, yeah, it is weird. I mean, since 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 this since since that scandal has come out, Kevin Smith has like you know, demoralized Harvey Weinstein. And he was like, I, I didn't know. Um, I would like, I would have to say, I would believe that Kevin's, uh, I, I would, I would believe that Kevin Smith legitimately didn't. did not know for sure. Yeah. Um, well, I'm sure he heard I'm, rumors, I but like, I don't that. think he was, I don't think he was hanging out at the kind of parties that were like, 
where this shit was going on. No, I don't. Much, I know? don't think so. Like we said he before, probably, he like he knows where he came from. I'm pretty sure he right. like you know he like it just he he doesn't strike me as somebody who would like really enjoy going to those kind of parties and like he would only right. go if he had to. Yeah. You know, like if he and it's one of those things. It's like I have to. Or... I have to make an appearance and we leave early, kind of thing. Yeah, you know? like if he had to show sh- my face and leave early, right? Like just schmoz an investor. All right, I'll have a. I'll have two drinks and I'll go. Just yeah, a kind of thing. Like, you know, just one of those things, or it's like, all right, it's Oscars night. I'll. I guess you know, I'll go, but I don't mm-hmm. want to. Or oh, it's the Christmas party. I don't want to go to the Christmas party. I don't like anybody there. But you know, let's just. Let them know so that, you know, maybe they want to, and I'll like pitch a project to somebody and we'll see if, you know, that, if anything comes of that. So, yeah. Um, but like, I, I'm sure he heard things, but I don't know if he, knew, but like, I don't think that he knew. Right. And I mean, he yeah, has, I don't, I don't you know, so. he's, he's a pretty good, he's a pretty solid guy. From yeah. What, for like, as far as I can, you know, judge, I, he seems like yeah. a pretty legit solid dude. So I don't, I don't think that, uh, I, I don't think that he knew. And I think that if he, like, I'm sure he heard things, but I, I I think, you know, I think he wanted to give him the benefit of the doubt, and he was just like, oh, shit, it's true. Yeah. Um, but he's actually donated money to, uh, it, uh, I think it was the Women in Film Fund. Yes, uh, it has. Yeah, since then. And pr- all the proceeds from that he's gotten in, like, residuals from the Weinstein-produced movies he sent to them, but... He actually said because it wasn't like there wasn't much left because they're they're not as like in syndication as much anymore. They don't get as much money. He actually mm-hmm. do- donated uh, two thousand dollars a month to that uh, to them instead. Sure. Um, so. Well, that's good. Um, yeah. 